days. I have to do 30 days, 30 days in jail, which is the longest 30 days of my life. Mm. <laughs> but um, I get, I, I, you know, jail, as weird as it sounds, bro, I, don't, don't look at me crazy. I wish everybody could experience what it's like to be in jail. Why? It's weird, bro. You get to see why so many people go back to jail over and over mm -hmm. and over again. And you learn two aspects. One is people are so creative. They're very creative in jail. Like everything you have to do from how you work out. I remember them teaching me how to create weights and using bags and water and doing this stuff. And it's crazy. Like, like you know, the sheets and how resourceful. I remember um, the vents, it would it'd be freezing cold, like freezing cold. And I had to take tissue and wet it and, and pat the vents. And then I created a... Um, I took newspaper and created like a window, uh, what's it called? Like a curtain. And I would have a little open, like, you know what I'm saying? Because I would open my curtain, like, yo, what's up? See, see, yo, see, oh, yo. Oh, what's up? I'll be out in a second. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But it's like you see how resourceful people are. You know, yeah. people going to the law library and learning. It's like, you know, you see that side of it. But then I see the other side. And I say, I see why people come back so more, so much. Because so many people have an identity in jail. And they don't have it out here. There's somebody. You have the person that's the cook. You see now they're looking like, yo, chef, you the chef, man, you the best. I'm the best cook. And he's he got he's somebody inside of jail. But when he come out here, he gotta go to work. He ain't nobody. They probably talking bad about him. They like, yo, you ain't shit. This, you know what I'm saying? But in jail, he the chef. Yeah. And he the best cook. Hmm. So now, you know what I'm saying? You got people who come there. This, you got the person that's knowledge. They always know everything. For some reason, they in jail, but they got all the reasons on how to stay out of jail. You get what I'm mm -hmm. saying? It's like, but they have an identity in jail. So, you know, they come out here. They face the real world. You got bills. You got family. You got to answer to people. You got to survive. But yeah. in jail, you just got to be the cook. You just mm -hmm. got to be the man, right? Mm -hmm. You got to be the workout man or whatever it is. So I got to see that aspect and I'm like, yo, I see it. I see why. It's just so e It's For some people, it's easy to just be in jail. Mm -hmm. And they have they have a sense of like purpose in prison, which is, that's great, a purpose in prison. I should start a show called that. Sounds <laughs> interesting. But um, yeah, that's, wow. you know, so it, it, it's weird, but it, it is, um, you know, um, I needed to go through that. Once again, I think I needed to go through the severe case of no like now like for me you always see me telling people like nah i don't do that drinking and driving stuff bro take an uber yeah. mm -hmm. you rather pay a hundred dollars in the uber than forty thousand dollars in fees Fine. bro yeah. and and not drive for five years and go to classes and all that stuff so it, you know it helped me now i tell like when i see people I'm like yeah i don't don't mess with that bro leave the car here let's take an uber mm -hmm. so, wow. yeah that, that definitely is a sense of maturity bro because you know sometimes a lot of people they'll be trying to beat that case they'll be trying to like you know find another way out and then mm -hmm. end up doing the same thing again yeah so you really needed that time to kind of pause those 30 days like what were you doing like was you reading was you like kinda, yep. you know yep just created a routine just i'm um, trying to make, make the time pass as fast yeah. as possible reading every day doing push-ups um um it's crazy imagining every night that's how i went mm -hmm. to sleep so i would read um, when I finished reading, I would take, you know, until I went to sleep, I would literally close my eyes and I would picture and I can still picture it to this day. Like I would close my eyes and picture how this house looked like how you walk into the room and how you walk straight. And then there's a staircase mm -hmm. and there's a wraparound balcony and then there's two balconies. I'm on outside. Like I would literally picture how my life looked. I would picture the car I was driving. I would picture how my family looked like every single night. Mm -hmm. And I did it every night faithfully. But that, like, those are the things that got me through it. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's, that's, it's, it's good to hear a story, you know, looking back. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Like, it's, 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 mm -hmm. it's, you know, now you can laugh on it and say, right. you know. What's going on, my Motion and Success family? Sorry to break the interview, but I had to. I just wanted to share some information with you guys because I know there is a problem. A lot of people out here, they're struggling with their credit. They're struggling to get funding. They're struggling to close a real estate deal. They're struggling to go ahead and increase their credit score. They're struggling to remove inquiries off your profile. I have the solution for you. So now, what I went ahead and did was I created an AI power software that you can use to go out and repair your own credit not only your credit but you're also your family members credit if you wanted to so the name of the system is called m2magnate.com 
This is an AI power software that you can use that will generate all the letters for you in less than five minutes. And you can send out your letters throughout the software to get the results. This is the same exact system that's responsible for helping me remove negative items off my client's credit profile, my credit profile. And this is what's going to help you to get that 700 plus credit score without having to pay thousands of dollars. Go ahead and visit m2magnate.com and start working on your credit. See you guys inside the software. Oh, the curtain jokes and all of those creativities that you've been seeing inside yep. there. And looking back, you know, um, it's really good. So I kind of want to fast forward into like, what are you doing now? Cause right. you know, we understand like some of the struggles that you went through. Um, if, if a person doesn't, you know, hear this story and I'm like, okay, cool. Like if JD went through this, and you know you can change his life around not necessarily change your life around but make better decisions moving forward mm -hmm. i can do it too you know because i already feel like that right. and my first thing i'm gonna do is watch that that commencement speech from steve jobs yeah for sure you got so it, bro. um it's really like good. how's it how's life looking like for you now because i know you bought a house you know things like that mm -hmm. you're doing real estate you know you got your family involved in your business mm -hmm. how's life looking for you now oh man it is incredible for the first 14 years of my um, professional career after college. I tried working jobs, multiple jobs, network marketing, party promoting, I tried to host the things and the result was the same. Mm -hmm. Broke, living check to check. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. And then in the last three years, bro, um, we've done, I don't even know what it is right now, but I, I know it's close to 2 million on Airbnb. I have four accounts on Airbnb. I only, I, I usually just use one of my accounts cause I like to show social proof. And I like to show them that they see that it is a million. So, like, on one of my accounts, is like, 1.5 million. And then between the other three, like, you know, one of them is about to hit 100. And other ones are, like, 200 and change. Like, so we've done in three years, you know, that just on Airbnb, not including Booking.com, not including Verbo, not including Furnish Finder, not including private bookings, right? So you made some great money there. Um, and that ended up pushing me to doing what I'm doing now, which is also coaching and if I'm keeping it real, it's something that I did not want to do. Mm -hmm. I did not want to coach. I didn't want to do no digital products. I didn't want to have a course. I don't because for the last seven years I did network marketing. Remember, yeah. seven years, three mm -hmm. meetings every day, mentoring people, doing stuff. It, it was a lot. So I said I just wanted to find a way to put, invest some money and then get money back. Mm -hmm. And I remember. Um, getting all these calls from people who knew me, people from network marketing, people from basketball, people from party promoting, people from my neighborhood. Like, yo, I see you doing this Airbnb because we posted on social media. Not for any reason. I was just posting my journey. Mm -hmm. But so many people are reaching out like, yo, can you teach me? Can you yeah. tell me? And I did the same thing every time. Nah, go to my boy. Here's the course I took. Go to his course. Go yeah. watch his course. Yeah. It's like, yo. And I got people that literally called me. Like one of my homegirls, she called me and said, yo, I'll pay you $10,000. I said, nope. Here's my, I didn't want to coach at all. Like it was the last thing I wanted to do. I was fine. I was making good money and I was, I didn't have to do nothing. I had my systems with, with, my, with my, my, my units. I was good. And I remember one night, never forget, bro. It's four in the morning mm -hmm. and I'm, I'm like this on my phone and my wife wakes up. She looks, she already seen my phone. So you already know she's thinking like, <laughs> she's like, what you doing on your phone? She's like, what you doing? And I'm like, I'm going to start a mentorship. Like, it's four in the morning. Yeah. And I was like, yo, I'm going to start a mentorship. Mm -hmm. I woke up in the morning and I made a post on Instagram. It was like 9 a.m. And I said, yo, starting a mentorship. First um, first 10 people, $1,000. I had no nothing recorded. I had no group. Like, once they paid me, I said, well, I got to figure it out now. But I felt like it was God calling me to it. You know, I was like, you know, all these years, the way I look at it is like, JD, all these years you've been trying to figure out what is you going to do to create success, to build wealth, to take care of yourself, to take care of your family, to live the way you want to live. You tried all these things and you finally found the answer. You're really good at it and you're not going to share it with nobody. Mm -hmm. And I just started to feel like it was a calling on me, like it was a pull on me. And um, I wanted to make sure I said, if I'm going to do it, I wanted to do it a certain way. I wanted to make sure when people joined they felt like it was like family and they they felt that it wasn't something where they just they just gave money and they just you know like, hey you know they just taking my money so when you see people join like if you ever go in my community like hey what's up family what's up family that, you know like everybody it was great everybody's talking the same way and they really get i have people in my community they best friends they travel together they invested in stuff together they um they show up to parties together like 
like it's it's an amazing environment but the intention of why i started like you know some people not everybody but some people start programs courses mentorships because they see the opportunity to make money and i don't think there's anything wrong with that you know people are like oh since the pandemic everybody's creating courses i'm like well that would have been a smart thing to do people were making money online why not start a course yeah. right now everybody's intentions wasn't the greatest but it's still a smart move um but I just think the difference for me is that I just didn't, I didn't want to do it. Like I tried my best not to do it. And then I felt like, you know what, I have to do this. And, and seeing the results now, it's incredible. Like my boy Fred, who sent me a text uh, last week and, um, and I'll, I'll look it up. He's like, he's at $999,000 with his Airbnb business. Has a, he has a tax business on the side and he's a full-time accountant and he's managing 10 units. So right there tells you, and, and he's a, a single dad. Wow. So how do you, you know, how does a person still manage 10 units, still make just about the, he should have hit a million dollars by now. Um, but how does he do that if he's a full-time accountant, if he's, you know, if he has a side tax business, if he has responsibilities as a parent, how does he manage 10 units still? The system works. Yeah, how? <laughs> it's the system the system works you know like for us we spend less than 10 minutes a day running our business you know 12 units and the way we're able to do that is because we use like automation so we teach like the goal is you know i've never i never wanted to start a business to have another job mm -hmm. i don't want to sit here and have a business and i'm giving 40 hours a week i already give 40 hours to my job right if i'm mm -hmm. working i don't want to have another job i want to have a way to where money is coming in but it's not taking a lot of my time and energy so I focus on that because I know if I can help you, if I can say, hey, Cody, all right, you want to start a business, you're looking for something to do, you don't have any experience as an entrepreneur, you want to make money, like what if I can teach you how to get into real estate, which is the industry that creates, you know, arguably um, more millionaires than any other industry. What if I could teach you to get in that without having to buy a property, without having to fix it, without having to flip it, without having to go through that long, stressful purchasing process, mm -hmm. and I teach you some systems to automate it so it's not requiring a lot of your time and energy. So now you're making money in a proven industry and you can still do whatever the hell you want to do. Hmm. I know if I can do that, there, it's a no-brainer. It's a no-brainer. And if I give you a solid system, guess what? I'm very confident. I know you're going to win. I know, I know it works. Hmm. And I know I got the advantage in many different ways. I know I have it. Like, if you do what I'm teaching you, I know that you are more likely to create success because you already have experience in it. You don't even know you got experience in it. Everybody, bro. I can tell you right now, bro. Did you? Did any y'all have y'all ever rented an apartment? No. Or a house? No, but my parents they have Airbnb. Uh, okay. No, 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 no. Meaning, have you ever rented like a p apartment for yourself or oh, a no. house for yourself, mm -mm. or know somebody who's rented an apartment yeah. apartment yourself, right? Oh, yeah. So most people, person you know, they even rented a house, they rented an apartment, they rented a room. A lot of like ninety eight percent of people that I speak to, they've rented before. Yeah. And those people who rent it, they put furniture in their apartments. They put furniture in their in their house. That they, that's all we do. So I know you got the advantage is you've already done it before. Mm. You've already rented an apartment. You already went in there and said, well, you know, a couch will look nice here. A TV will look nice here. Yeah. So you know what it's like to furnish it. Yeah. The only difference is I get paid and you don't. Yeah. So I'm extremely confident I'm going to help them have success because everybody who comes to me, for the most part, they've even rented mm. Or they watch somebody else doing it. So I already know you already got experience doing this. You just don't know it yet because you're looking at it the wrong way. Mm. So I just give them a different perspective, a different view of it. And I say, yo, this is how I know you're going to have success because you already have experience doing it. And then mm. you got the people who moved. If you moved, all you're telling me is that you did it more than once. So you can get two units. Mm. <laughs> you get what I'm saying? Yeah. So, you know, life is, is about perspective. When you change the way you look at things, the things you look at start to change.